What's up fam, it's Asia, and today I'm going to show you how I got this super easy storm transformation inspired by Marvel's comics. All products that I'm using today can be found at Sally Beauty Supply. So I'm starting off with BTZ Color Bombs in the color Iced Out, and I'm going to use this to achieve silver hair. You want to make sure that you're spraying this about 12 inches away from your hair, and it's going to give you nice coverage. I used a total of 6 cans. Now to prevent hard hair and to prevent color transfer, I'm going to use Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. Now this leaves your hair super soft and super moisturized. It also seals in the color so you do not have to worry about transfer. Next, I'm moving on to the makeup. I'm going to start by concealing the ends of my brows. I am putting concealer with my beauty blender on the ends of my brows. Then I'm applying my Stellar Brilliant Primer. I love this. It's perfect for priming your face and it really does help to smoothen everything out so your pores don't show. Then I'm going to apply my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation in the color Cappuccino. This foundation is amazing. It was created in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley and she definitely did her thing with formulating these shades. I love it so much. NYX did a great job. So once I have my foundation blent in, I just took a little bit of foundation and put it on top of the concealer and just blended everything together so that way that part of my brow wouldn't be too light but it would just mesh into my foundation. Next I took my NARS Radiant Concealer in the color Caramel and I'm going to just use this to highlight the high places on my face. So I'm highlighting my under eye and I'm also going to carve out where my contour is going to go. I want it to be very very sharp. Next, I'm going to set this concealer with the Black Opal Medium Deluxe Finishing Powder. I'm going to allow this to bake for a while while I go ahead and proceed to contour. I'm using the Pure Sculptor Palette and I'm going to be using the light brown shade. I'm applying this with my Thrive Cosmetics Contour Brush and it is amazing. It works perfectly for getting inside of there. Then I just set the other parts of my face with my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder. And I just buffed everything out with my face brush from my It's My Ray Ray Brush Set. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just completely spray my face. I'm drenching it and then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just blend everything together. This is a tip I got from Melissa Ashley and honestly, it makes everything melt together nicely. Then I'm going to go back in with that brown shade and really carve out my nose. I'm starting out with just a fine line and then after I've carved out both sides, I'm going to go back in with this eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to pull the color down to create a shadow. Then I took a very fluffy blending brush and I just blended out my nose to make sure everything was seamless. Next I'm going in with my Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the color Desert Rose. Now this looks a little scary at first but once you apply it, it looks amazing. This is perfect for brown shades. It looks very gorgeous and it gives you warmth to your look. Next, I'm going in with my very favorite highlighter, Jackie Ina's La Peach Girl. It is bomb. I use it for every single look, okay? Even if I put some on top of it, it still has to be in the mix because it's that gorgeous. I'm going to go in on the highlight because Storm is glam, okay? Now that we're done with the face, we're gonna move on to the brows. We're using the Collab Shape and Shade and this is a nice little brow pencil. I'm to start by brushing out my brows and then I'm going to draw my brows on long. Yes, I want to elongate them that way they can be a lot straighter and look more dramatic like Storms is in the Marvel comic. Once we've got that shape, we're just going to go ahead and fill it in and make it look nice and full. Then we're going to take the Ardell Pro Eyeshadow Palette Metallic in Matte and we're going to go ahead and apply our first shade which is this brown shade. I'm going to apply this into my crease. Now my goal was to make my eye look bigger. So I'm just blowing that out really well, dragging it outward so that way my eyes look bigger. Next I'm going to take this shade and just place it right below it, focusing it on my crease and a little bit on my lid. Then I cut the crease and I went in with this shade. It's a nice copper tone and I just put that all over the lid. Next I took this berry shade and I just used that to blend the outer edge. And then I just took this gold and I put it in the middle that way I can make the eyes look more rounded. Then we're going to line the eyes with the Ardell Wanna Get Lucky Gel Eyeliner. Now this eyeliner is super black girl, like so dark, I love it. 
but you do have to be careful when you're applying it because it's very soft in consistency. Then I'm gonna take this brown shade and I'm just gonna blend out the lower watermark line because I did add gel liner down there. And then I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. Now for the lips, I'm gonna line my lips with the ultra opaque lipstick from Ardell Beauty. I'm using the color Waiting and I'm going to make sure that I leave enough space for the next shade. To fill in the lips, I'm going to be using Tender Ties and then I'm going to gently mash my lips together. So to finish the look off, I applied my lashes off camera and then I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I just put on my little headband that I made and that's it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, share and subscribe and I'll catch you loves in my next video.